How's it going everybody? We're back again. It's been a little while. I wanted to apologize. I wanted to take a little bit of a break from doing reviews. Sometimes you get a little bogged down with doing these and I just felt like I just needed to take a little bit of time off to kind of rejuvenate my passion for products like this and keep moving on. Um, I also want to thank you guys again for sending me to New York. Tons of fun and O'Dowd's has lots of stuff ahead of them. But today, we're gonna take a look at Flagship's new lineup. First of all, Blackwater. Jump right into this one. So, this has kind of been a long-awaited product for me. I've been hearing lots of stuff about this as it was being formulated, and it was one of the products that I was really looking forward from the extremely, um, anticipated release of the seasonals as well as this product itself. Held within a, I believe it's an eight ounce bottle with a nice pump on top. Nothing too crazy, just plastic, easy to use. So far the pump is pretty good. You're able to actually close it, which is nice positive in terms of um, travel and things like that. Uh, the labeling works very well. It's classic to flagships usual presentation simple has that um, pirate style theme to it we have the boats on each side and the black and gold uh, color palette is just beautiful ingredients on the side matte finish pre and post styling cream as well as application instructions on the side um, the scent on this stuff is quite complex but it leans into the typical flagship scent line. Usually very strong, um, a bit muskier, hints of pepper and cologne fragrances that are warm, inviting, and potentially not for everyone. This is more on the darker side of a cologne style scent. Uh, one thing to note, if you guys are hearing this lovely whistling noise, it's been windy like crazy here in my city and I can't really get around it, so just deal with it. Okay, scent, warm, inviting. The jar itself, excellent. The actual scent of the product, as we said, warm and inviting. Um, the application, we're gonna start out, we're gonna do application into damp hair, use it as a pre-styler, see how it works from there, and then go with a a uh, post styling. For pre styling, you don't have to worry about the actual amount you use. As hopefully you guys can see, I use a very generous amount of the product as it's very smooth and as stated, it's black and it literally is like water, hence the name black water. I use a generous amount because this stuff is extremely light, especially when applying into the hair, damp hair. Don't notice anything. Get a little bit of dryness from it, a little bit of smoothing. It's got a little bit of everything, which is quite different from some products that we're used to. The most benefit product of this is that, um, unlike something like Enigma, you don't have to worry about using too much product, actually. It's uh, probably the best aspect of this is I almost used too little of amount at first. Didn't get the right, what I was looking for from the product. Doubled, even tripled the amount of volume of the product. It's very hard to oversaturate when pre-styling. Uh, I personally enjoy that a lot. I think pre-stylers sometimes are hard to judge how much they, you should use. Blackwater avoids that completely. I'm gonna blow dry, show you guys and then fast forward a little bit while we're doing it and come back for post styling. And that's about it for pre-styling pre with it. As we can see, tons of volume. It's definitely matte. We start to get some texture in our hair, as besides just blow drying without anything in it. It's light, there's a touch of grip to it, and it's still dry, yet it, it doesn't create the frizzy dryness you get from like a sea salt spray. 
There's just a touch of smoothness to it that I really appreciate. Now, I personally like to only really use this product as a pre-styler. I find it benefits from that, but we're gonna jump into post-styling as well. Um, however, one note, the only problem I have with this product and one of their other products that they've released is that the blackness of it can actually stain your hands a little bit. Now this does wash out completely, um, just water, you don't need soap or anything, so it's nothing to avoid. I do have um, brownish, slightly blonde in the summer hair, but I haven't noticed it decoloring anything in my hair, my scalp or anything like that, mainly just the hands itself. Use a little bit more, probably just kind of like dime size amount, not a full scoop and go back into it. And application, like before, easy, smooth. We do have quite a lot of product in our hair right now, but it's still extremely manageable. And that's the best part about this. And what I really like about the Blackwater product. God, I love that whistling noise, if you guys can hear it. And that's honestly all I need, a little bit on the sides to smooth things out. But as you can see, it does leave a little bit of residue on the hands, but that does rinse out and doesn't seem to affect the final product. Jumping into the performance aspect, I'd say using a pre-styler, you get a solid light to medium hold. Um, definitely a medium if you push the, the volume or the amount of product that you're using. Kind of what I did at first gives us that medium hold. Um, going in as a post styler, we then jump bump it up to a medium firm. Again, it depends on how much you're using. This product is just great in the ability to not become oversaturated, and that's the number one aspect. Texture, we get a solid dryness to it, creates beautiful texture as we can see. Something that really baffles me when you actually look at and use the product in your hand. It feels like it should be slick. It feels like you should create very clean stylers. Maybe you can do that if I used a comb, had longer hair, that type of stuff. But this really creates not what I would have expected from a styling cream. Very nice aspect and something that I enjoy. Um, this is actually probably my favorite pre-styler at the moment, just jumping the gun on the overall aspects of it. Um, from there, endurance wise, excellent. I would say it's, it's middle of the pack, slightly above. Flagship is known for really creating products that work and they last and that's probably one of my favorite aspects of flagship itself. Being that they're based out of Texas, they deal with hot weather, it's dry, they deal with variances in temperature, and that makes it an ideal case for testing and getting products that endure very well versus something a little bit northern or colder in its climate. From there, um, the shine, as we said, is matte. Um, I think you, there's no way you could argue that this has I don't think any shine to it, but it's not, for me, it's not a, like a, too, um, it's not a crazy amount of matte or that dry damaged look of matte. It's, it's just the perfect amount. From there, we got the hold covered, medium to firm. We have pre and post styling abilities. Endurance is good, shine is matte, and um, as well, texture is obviously high. I wouldn't say it's sticky in any realm. Um, like I said, it's smooth in the application and surprises you from not providing clean styles, but more of messy styles. Really enjoy that. Uh, the washout of it, uh, kind of what I was leaning for with when I discussed the, the product being on my hands. As you can see, there's no longer that black residue or that dark residue. This washes out with just water, hence, I think it leans to the actual name of the product again. Blackwater is the absolute perfect name for this. 
And overall, this is my new favorite pre-styler and a product that I really hope to lean on when I really have to have a great foundation for styling. So I'll have all the info you need to pack or to pick this stuff up. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions or anything like that, I'm happy to answer them here or on my Instagram. And speaking of which, go on my Instagram, follow there. You'll get a few more updates from like me being away the last week and things like that. Just gives you a better background of what I'm doing in my spare time. And thanks again. And we'll be coming back in the next few days with another product from Flagship the void product. See you guys later.